LA Department of Transportation improves road safety with a new traffic circle in Pacoima on Telfair Avenue and Montague Street. Funding for the traffic project was provided by the California Active Transportation Program under its Mobility Plan 2035. The traffic circle and intersections are part of the Neighborhood Enhancement Network, which will improve safety for all road users. Three other locations are also getting these safety enhancements and were selected on criteria such as crash history and proximity to schools. For more info, visit ladot.lacity.org. Los Angeles wants you to share ideas and proposals for improving your community with LA Repair. The Los Angeles Reforms for Equity and Public Acknowledgement of Institutional Racism program is accepting ideas for funding through September 17th via their website. Across nine marginalized communities called repair zones, the city will distribute roughly $8.5 million to projects decided on by the public. Ideas are welcome from anyone over five years old that live, work, worship, or study in one of the repair zones. A vote will be held in 2024 on the funding choices. For more information, visit repair.lacity.gov. In a move to regulate so-called van lords, LA City Council has approved a ban on the sale or rental of recreational vehicles for use as housing. The motion introduced by Westside Councilwoman Tracy Park asked the city attorney, along with relevant departments, to enforce state and federal laws relating to RVs. Additionally, Councilwoman Park introduced a separate motion that would create designated parking areas for RVs and prohibit parking around schools, playgrounds, and daycare centers. This motion now moves to committee for review. An uptick in RV dwellers, many of whom rent their vehicles, has raised concerns around public health, including illegal dumping. For further information, go to cd11.lacity.gov.